Hi everyone, in this video we're going to do a simple integration problem. We're going to integrate dx over 4 plus 9x squared. This is not a hard problem, it's pretty simple, but if you've never seen it, um, you probably have no idea how to do it. So we're going to go through it in this video and work it out. So this problem is really about pattern recognition. There, there's a formula you can use and apply to this problem. The formula says if you have the integral of 1 over a squared plus u squared du, this is equal to 1 over a times the arctangent of u over a plus capital C, which is our arbitrary constant of integration. So you might say, well, the du is here, it's not up here. It doesn't matter. This can be written as the integral of 1 over 4 plus 9x squared dx. So it, it doesn't really matter where you put the dx. Like goes, I can put the du up here. So before we apply this formula, we kind of have to rewrite this to make it kind of look like this. So I'm going to write it again. I'm going I'm to start with this one. 1 over 4 plus 9x squared dx. And so we can write this as the integral of 1 over. So the 4 can be written as a number squared, and that number would be 2. So this will be 2 squared. Plus, and then the, the 9x squared, we want to write that as something squared, right? So we can write that as the quantity 3x squared. And then here we have the dx. So now you see uh, it kind of matches the formula. You see a is 2. And then you see that u is going to be 3x. And that basically tells us our substitution. Well, now we have to make a u substitution here. So u is equal to 3x. Taking the derivative of both sides gives us du equals 3 dx. Now, we, we don't have a 3 here in the integrand, so when you get to this step and you're doing u substitution, the goal is to make this look like whatever is here. So we're going to divide both sides by 3. So we have 1 third du equals dx. Okay, so this is equal to... Okay, so let's go ahead and replace the dx. It'll be 1 third integral 1 over du. So the only thing I've done so far is replace the dx, okay? The 2 squared stays, plus, and now instead of 3x, it's going to be u squared, or u, rather. So it'll be u squared, you see. And so now we can apply, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, hopefully you can see. So now we can apply the formula, okay, directly, directly to this piece here. So I'm going to put a little thing here to kind of omit that so we can continue here. So it's 1 third. Don't forget the 1 third. Very easy to forget. And then applying the formula, it's 1 over a, so a is 2, arc 10 of u over a, so u over 2, plus our arbitrary constant of integration, right? So again, it's 1 over a, arc tangent u over a, u over 2, plus our arbitrary constant of integration. But we're not done because here we have u, and the original problem involved x in the integrand. So we have to go back to the original variables. This is equal to, well, 3 times 2 is 6. So we get 1 sixth arc tangent. But instead of u now, it's going to be 3x over 2 plus c, which is our arbitrary constant of integration. And that would be the answer. And this is something you typically see in a Calculus 2 class or perhaps in high school uh, after that advanced, maybe in a Calculus BC class. The good news is I have the answer right here. I haven't looked, but now I can check it. Um, this is from one of my books, uh, Mathematics Unlimited, which is like some calculus stuff and a little bit of differential equations. And it looks like it looks like we're okay, right? We're okay. It's correct. So yeah, check out my courses. Links in the description. Check out my books. Links in the description. Uh, all my books are priced irrationally. Um, Ebooks or two pies is just fun to say. It's why I did it. Uh, paperbacks are four pie. Hardcovers are eight pie. Pretty ridiculous, but it's fun. Check them out. Stay strong, my friends.